Planet of the Apes is like the OG of Hollywood franchises, believe it or not. The roots go way back, more than 50 years ago, when the first film hit the screens. Now, we're diving into the latest installment, Planet of the Apes, New Kingdom, the fourth in the series. This flick promises to spill the tea on Caesar's legacy and where his story is heading. And guess what? It's throwing it back to the original films from the last century. So, let's break down both trailers, cause the creators are cooking up a new trilogy, and you bet it's gonna be a wild ride. So, grab your popcorn and buckle up, it's gonna be a roller coaster. Back in 68, the OG flick, Planet of the Apes, hit the scene. Picture this, a future where Earthlings crash on a planet that looks like Earth but went full animal kingdom. Humans? Reduced to animal status. Monkeys? Top of the food chain. The movie even snagged an Oscar nod for its visual effects, raking in that sweet box office dough and popping out five sequels. Fast forward to 2001, they tried to reboot it with Tim Burton at the helm and Mark Wahlberg in the lead. Spoiler alert, it didn't quite hit the mark, so it kinda got sidelined. Now, since 2011, the franchise got a modern facelift, starting with Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Remember Caesar, the brainy chimp? Experimental drugs made him a genius, but it also wiped out most of humanity. Three films later, we witnessed the epic battle between monkeys and what's left of us humans. Now, in 2024, Caesar's descendants are still duking it out for supremacy. Humans turned feral, mirroring the wild ones from the 68 original. The new kingdom goes down decades after the monkey flu apocalypse, with various monkey societies following different takes on Caesar's teachings. Some are shady, enslaving others, including the leftover humans. Enter our main squeeze for the new trilogy, Noah. Get ready for a ride, cause this saga ain't just a reboot, it's a whole new level of monkey business. So, buckle up, folks. Our main dude, Noah, is kicking it in one of the communities ruled by the Big Cheese, Proximus Caesar. After the first trailer dropped, everyone thought it was going to be all about Cornelius, Caesar's son, who led the monkeys in the last hurrah of the third film. Plot twist, we're jumping a century ahead, and Cornelius is long gone. The script, handled by May, played by Frey Allen, the OG series from The Witcher, is throwing us a curveball. May and Noah team up to give Proximus the slip. Now, why she needs to deal with this tyrant is a bit hazy, but we got some hints to unravel. Let's dive into that, shall we? Hold on to your hats, cause the new trailer just dropped some truth bombs. The new kingdom isn't hitting the reset button, it's sliding right into the existing franchise, warts and all. The timeline here can be more twisted than a pretzel, especially with time travel shenanigans from the OG films. The modern trilogy with Caesar may be a whole new tale, but it's also a prequel to the OG classics. Mind-blowing, right? The original Planet of the Apes went down in 3978 on our turf, and guess what? The new flick is serving up events a mere 300 years after the Monkey Planet War. Translation, we're inching closer to the OG timeline. The New Kingdom is like the bridge between Caesar's saga and the OG films. It's the Goldilocks of reboots, not too much, not too little, just right. Every trailer and poster for The New Kingdom is throwing us back to Caesar's roots. But it's not just a nostalgia trip. It's the start of a whole new chapter. The fourth installment has cracked the code, finding that sweet spot between the Caesar trilogy and the OG classics. Get ready, peeps, cause this monkey business is rewriting the history of Caesar and paving the way for a whole new cinematic era. Hold on to your hats, peeps, cause we're diving deep into the monkey madness. The birth of the Planet of the Apes isn't happening in a blink, it's taking a century to brew, and that's what makes the New Kingdom so darn intriguing. 300 years after the war for the monkey planet, we're entering a world where the monkeys are calling the shots, just like the OG film and the one with Mark Wahlberg. It's a throwback to the classics, and I'm loving it. What's mind-blowing is that the New Kingdom is already giving off more OG vibes than the entire previous trilogy. No more of that humanity's downfall stealing the spotlight. It's all about the monkey society taking the lead. This setup lets the new trilogy tell its own tale without sweating the small stuff about what came before or after. It's like the perfect bridge, connecting Caesar's journey with the OG saga, culminating in those astronauts' grand entrance. And hold up, there's a twist in the tale that's got us all scratching our heads. The new trailer's dropping hints that Freya Allen, our leading lady, 
might just be playing the same astronaut from the OG movie. Check it, she's rocking a different wardrobe, none of that ragtag makeshift clothes everyone else is donning. If this theory pans out, we're in for a full-blown remake of the OG saga. Remember George Taylor, the astronaut who stumbled upon a monkey-ruled planet in the OG? Well, May's taking the reins in this reboot, zipping through time and finding herself in a futuristic Earth. It's like history's on replay, but with a stylish twist. Buckle up, people, cause the new kingdom might just be rewriting the whole planet of the apes rulebook. Absolutely, my friend. The spotlight on Freya Allen in the trailers is no accident. She's poised to be the game changer in this apetastic saga. Picture this, she's not just a character, she's the key to tying up all those loose ends. If she's indeed playing the OG astronaut, it's like the prequels are coming full circle, and we're jumping back into the OG storyline of humans locking horns with the monkeys in the distant future. Noah's gonna be the main man in the future trilogy, and you bet it's gonna be a wild ride. Now, here's where it gets spicy, Proximus, the monkey maestro, has his eyes set on snagging all the human tech and bending the survivors to his will. Classic villain move, right? But hold up. If we've got astronauts rolling in with their fancy space gear, it's game on. Those advanced technologies might just throw a wrench in Proximus plans. It's like the humans are getting an upgrade in the fight against monkey tyranny. Here's a fun tidbit. The franchise is cooking up some magic in the comics too. And guess who's behind it? Marvel. Yep, they're weaving a tale that's expanding the universe even further. Remember how they spilled the beans on Furiosa's backstory in Mad Max? Well, buckle up, cause the comics are packed with juicy bits that might just blow your mind. The Planet of the Apes saga is evolving, my friend, and it's got more twists and turns than a roller coaster. So, grab a comic, settle in, and let the monkey business continue. Dang, the comics are serving up some serious juicy bits. They're giving us a peek at the map, highlighting the city of monkeys in that mysterious forbidden zone where the OG Statue of Liberty stands tall. In the OG films, that zone was like Pandora's box, a mix of danger and enigma. George Taylor took a leap of faith and found the ruins of Lady Liberty in the OG finale. Now, Marvel's throwing us breadcrumbs about what else lurks there. There's even talk of an empire, setting the stage for a showdown with our iconic monkeys. The details and theories are buzzing, folks, and if you want us to break them down, drop a comment. Now, let's talk about the ringmaster behind the scenes, Wes Ball, the maestro who brought us the Maze Runner trilogy. This dude knows his way around a post-apocalyptic tale with a killer central idea. Get ready for a wild ride, cause the man's got skills. But, hold on to your hats, folks. The casting news is a bit of a bummer for many. The legendary Andy Serkis, the OG Caesar, isn't in the lineup. I know, I know, major bummer. But fear not, cause the trailers are teasing some top-notch CGI monkey action that's looking pretty darn convincing. Originally, we were gearing up for a May 24th. 2024 release, but they shifted gears to dodge a clash with Furiosa. Now, mark your calendars for May 10th. This year, the monkeys are swinging into action sooner than you think. Planet of the Apes is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated projects of the year, and we're crossing our fingers that it's going to be a knockout. Share your expectations in the comments, and let's get the hype train rolling. Well, amigos, that's a wrap for today. Catch you on the flip side, and stay tuned for more monkey business real soon.